Welcome, this is Bob with Cyber Innovation, and in this video, we're going to set up and talk about Square appointment scheduling. All right, in this video, I'm going to set up Square appointments for individuals for the first time. You can kind of walk with me step by step. Square has an interesting offer. Uh, Square is a payment processing system uh, similar to PayPal, similar to Stripe, and they actually have some of the best processing fees. With PayPal, you're going to pay 2.99% and 30 cents per transaction through your PayPal account. And with Stripe, you're going to pay the same at this point as 2.99% and 30 cents a transaction. With Square, they have a less expensive cost. Square has been very popular with practitioners and people who book appointments in person. It's kind of a mini POS system, for lack of a better term. If you've ever had someone accept a payment through an iPad or a phone or a swipe or a tap, they're probably using Square. They've been one of the industry leaders when it came to point of sale for individuals and small organizations who didn't need a big complex point of sale or cash register type system. So if you summarized over the past, say, five to 10 years, if you were a practitioner, if you were in person, if you had a small shop, people came in, maybe you did massage, maybe you did energy healing, maybe you had a small store and you just needed to swipe or work maybe at a, a farmer's market or a, a shop, you were able to use Square. PayPal was the dominant player online. So if you had a website and you were selling products online, you did it through PayPal. Well, for the past few years, as many things do, they kind of blend and merge together. And so now you have Stripe out there, which is very popular in the online world for taking payments online through a website, or you have Square, which has grown to add a free appointment scheduling app that's integrated with their system. So I'm going to set up Square appointments for the first time. I do not have a Square account, so I don't have a Square payment system. I don't have anything set up from Square. So if you're starting from scratch, seeing this for the first time, you can walk with me step by step. My goal here is to set up the appointment scheduling portion and then find the embed code so I can place it into my website because I have an existing website. What's great about Square is if you don't have an existing website, you can get started right away. You can set up your account. You can start taking payments using the appointment system. It'll keep track of your customers while you're building a website. So if you're a brand new practitioner, um, a brand new business owner, and you want to start taking payments right away, it's a great solution to be able to set appointments and have a calendar you can send to people to sync with your Google Calendar and have them uh, book your free time. Uh, if you have an existing website or you want to build a website down the road, uh, it's perfect because you'll be able to add that to it later. So let's get started. All right, so we're here at Square Appointments, now free for individuals, what it talks about, uh, and it's really affordable for teams. So if you have more than one person, uh, there is gonna be an upcharge for the teams and uh, we'll, get started here for free. And we're continuing. Now put in your business information. Next, you'll want to download the Square apps to your phone and send the link. So here we are already. Uh, they have a simple one, two, three, and four. Again, this is the first time I have seen this. Uh, step two, it says create a test appointment. So I'm going to go to the calendar and create a test appointment. Um, so if you click here or on a time slot on the calendar to book an appointment, so it looks like already they've shut off Saturdays and Sundays. It looks like they're only allowing bookings from nine to five. So that's nice. You can kind of see the gray area here. They're only allowing it in this area. Um, highlight if I book that, you just try booking a test appointment, a test notes. I need to add a service. So this is women's haircut, color treatment, men's hair. So this is set up for a hair salon, which is perfect. Uh, if you want to take uh, collect money, uh, you can. So this is all the client info. I'm just going to save this. Appointments with Bob Rancleave at 815. Notification type is going to be that. Any message, I'm going to send that. So it's going to send me a message, send them a message. So here it is, and it's I'm set up for a women's haircut, and I'm going to change that, reschedule. That's beautiful. I like that. So this is where that's all at. So down here at the bottom, it talks about setting up your booking site. So we're going to click Set Up Site. So setting up your booking site, clients, book more appointments with free online scheduling. It only takes a minute, so I'm going to edit the uh, details. So business name uh, would be obviously your business name. Nickname, I'm just going to put in Energy Healing. I'm not exactly sure where this nickname comes in. Business bio, I'm going to go get that from my website. 
I uh, will paste that in for my website. I can always come back and update that later. I'm a mobile. Here's my email. Here's my phone number. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm not going to put those in right now, but I'll put in my website. And we'll paste that there. Logo will upload. Point of sale background or checkout image. This image appears in the background. The point of sale, the size is 2328 by 1144. Again, if you don't have an image, you can always go out to uh, unsplash or pexels.com, find an image, and then go to places like canva.com, set up a free account, and go in there and create an image exactly the size. I'm going to uh, take a chance here and see what I have in my system for background images. So I'm using the same image from the background of my website. Now here is where our calendar is set up. So I'm taking appointments Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, 9 to 5, 9 to 5. I'll take them on Saturday, let's say 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. On Fridays, I don't want to take them past 12 either. So there's, uh, and actually I'm going to change these to the 10 to 6. So highlight 10, leave Monday at 9. All right, so business hours are in my central time zone. I've got those set. I just noticed now my nickname, Energy Healing. This is what they've dropped in front of the booking site. So they've put the word Energy Healing right here in front of booking site. So whatever you set your nickname, that's going to be it. So if I want to view the site they've created for me, pretty good so far. Our services I have to fix uh, and our staff, and they talk about creating a website embed so we can actually, I'll just take a quick look. Uh, so it says here's a book an appointment. So with this code I talked about before, I'm gonna be able to put that into my website uh, as a button. So I will come back to that later. Now I'm gonna go over here on the left and look at services. I'm going to bring up my website, gettinganswers.com. So I have three services here. I have a single session, a three session pack, and a six session pack. So I'm going to click view more. And here I'm going to copy this information. So this talks about category, picking a date and time. And I'll take it back over to this area. And I'm going to just click on women's haircut. And I'm going to place it in here, the description, and I'm going to put it motion code single session, and it's service time. I'm going to put at zero hours and 30 minutes. I'm going to block off extra time. I, I wonder if there's a global, a lot of these systems have what's called a global extra time. I'm going to come back to that later. I suspect they do as well, where you can go in and globally say, give me 15 minutes before, 15 minutes after, or whatever you would like. Um, price varies. I'm going to put in here a fixed price of $85. Um, and it's bookable by customers. So we're going to save that. So I'm going to click color treatment. And now I'll go through the other ones quickly here and copy and paste those next. All right, so I need to clean these up. I'm gonna, this extra one, the shampoo style, I'm gonna come in here and click delete. We're gonna delete that service. Uh, I need to clean these up. I like the last one, which is where I should have started. Um, so motion code, space, dash, single session, we'll save that. And we'll take this from the front and put it on the end. There we go. So we have 85, 240, 450. So my single session, my three session, and my six session package. There we go. So let's take a look at staff. That's myself. I'm the account owner. I don't think there's any more I need to do here. Oh, I can get an image. So I would definitely, definitely get an image of yourself because people are going to connect with real people. And then here's the biography area. I'll go to my website and get some information there. So I've added that, save that, 
All right, so now we're going to go into settings and take a look. Uh, I'm just kind of clicking through uh, appointment preferences. So calendar and booking, where do you accept appointments? At my business, at the customers, at both my business and the customer's location. Uh, and I have been known to go locally to see people. Um, so I'll put that here at both my business and the customer's location. Part of me wants to do phone only. I'm not sure that's going to make any big difference. Uh, reservation guarantee business automatically accepts all appointment requests if you want to accept or re decline you can actually change this here um, that would be a way to do it if you don't have your calendar in sync which is what I'm going to look at next year clients may um, reschedule their own appointments so I'm going to save that all right so here is where one of the keys is at I think and this is where you're going to manage your calendar sync uh, they're going to link you with Google Calendar at no charge. If you're not using Google Calendar, you can set up a Google account for free. Highly recommend it. And then use Google Calendar to say you have a lunch appointment every Thursday at noon. I happen to. So I have it rescheduling. Um, say you set a, a lunch appointment uh, with a client or an afternoon event for a haircut or something. Add it to your calendar because when it stays in sync with this calendar, then you don't have a chance for your customers to book you at the same time. I'm going to click link and just follow the instructions. Once your appointment's linked, you have a choice of import and export, which is what I'm going to do. I want it to bring my appointments in and send my appointments out. Um, you can have an import only or an export only. So here it asks which calendar. I happen to have more than one calendar, so I'm going to put this on my calendar. Select the calendar you'd like to import to your Square Appointments calendar, select the appointment staff on the other. So continue. So now my Google Calendar is syncing with my Square Calendar. So calendar is a success, great. Now you can see that it's set up here, perfect. All right, next we're gonna to go to online scheduling. Appointments are scheduled on the half hour, on the quarter hour, according to service. So if you want only to take appointments on the hour, on the half hour, that's your choice. Appointments must be made in advance. So do you want to take an appointment immediately? Do you want to break? Like I want to know, say a couple hours ahead of time. So someone's not going to go book an appointment like right now or in 10 or 15 minutes. I want to know maybe within four hours. So you can't, whatever the time is right now, no one can book an appointment with you for four hours. Cut off time uh, for rescheduling, uh, cut it off at an hour. Maybe you don't want anybody to reschedule. And appointments can't be rescheduled further than, I mean, Maybe your business you can allow a year. Uh, maybe you only want it to go 30 days, you know, 21 days. It just depends on if they're going to reschedule, how much further can you go out with that. And then allow multiple services to be booked online. So if you're a salon uh, and, and you hair, nails, color, I mean, if you have multiples, uh, you can allow that. All right, this fake it filter is interesting. And I love this for brand new practitioners or if your calendar is completely empty. So. What I'm saying is if you connect your calendar and you already have a lot of standing appointments, when someone comes to book, they're going to see that you're busy. You have slots that are only available at certain times. What you don't want to do is have somebody come and see that you have an open schedule Monday through Friday, nine to five, nothing booked. You want to fake it filter along the way. My calendar is already busy. I'm a busy guy. I have other things and appointments going on, so I don't have to enable this. But if you're brand new, you go in here and show, hey, I'm slightly busy, I'm moderately busy, I'm extremely busy, and just have it fake out how busy you are until you get to that point. So it doesn't look like every slot is available and you're a busy person. This test, I'm gonna put it at, uh, let's just go in here and put it extremely busy. All right, so next we're gonna go to payments and cancellations. So booking without no-show protection. Clients can book, reschedule, and cancel without being required to prepay or provide card information for the no-show protection. So you can change this uh, in your booking preferences and set up your cancellation policy here. So we ask that you please reschedule or cancel at least an hour before the beginning of your appointment and then you can put in your cancellation policy here. There is booking with no show protection and then there is require payment. I don't have a payment plan set up so it's not allowing me to do that so I'll have to look into that next. All right, communications. Communications obviously are of utmost importance. One of the reasons you're scheduling online is to make it easy for your clients to find an open slot in your calendar. I prefer to take payment up front for my services. Maybe you'll take it at time of service, but you have to get them to the appointment whether you take payment ahead of time or not. So this is important here that you're gonna send a text message, text reminder one hour previous to the appointment, and you're gonna send an email reminder one day prior to the appointment. But you can change this in here if you like.
Uh, there's additional email notification customizations and automatics. You'll have to go through the notes here again at the top. You can go through the help center. I'm going to leave it at this. Okay, so to overview at this point, I'm a bit surprised and puzzled that Square hasn't prompted me to set up credit card processing. The reason Square can offer free appointment scheduling is they have a credit card processing system. And again, it's one of the best price credit card processing systems out there. It's less than PayPal. It's less than Stripe. And you can swipe cards on your phone, swipe cards with your iPad. They even have a tap option, and then you have this free appointment booking system. So I don't think you can beat the offer. But that being said, I'm not sure where or why they haven't. So I'm going to click on my business up here, account settings, here and go to bank accounts. So this says add bank account. So this is what the missing piece was where I needed to add a bank account. All right, a bank account has been added. So once I put in my routing number and my account number twice, again, you get that off the bottom of your check for your checking account. It says here your bank account has been successfully linked. Funds will be held in your square balance until your bank account is verified. The verification can take up to three days. Generally what they do for verification, check your email inbox, is they're going to put a couple deposits in. They're going to be maybe six cents and 12 cents, something like that. They don't tell you up front because that's the way they verify. And then you verify the deposits and that links the account. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. Email notifications, you can manage those here. Your daily sales, inventory, refunds, we'll go into those. Authorized representatives, you need to add someone, an assistant, a spouse, you can add an authorized. This is going to be, for, again, this is for your account and settings. Security, uh, you can enable team permissions, um, get free processing. All right, so we're going to go to Square Accessories, and I'm going to go down to Card Reader. So this is where you can order a mag stripe reader. Uh, you can order a chip reader. Um, if you, so we make two versions for MagStripe for different types that choose the connectivity that works best for you, a headset jack or a lightning connector. Where reader ships free of charge and should arrive in 10 days to get a credit card reader, visit a retail store near you. So if you want to accept chip cards in Apple Pay, this is where your tap is. So this is where the new square reader comes from. Uh, so this is the more advanced. If you need a point of sale system or hardware for your store, you can get it here. I'm going to go for the Square Reader and the Apple Pay. So they have a one-time charge for the Square Reader for contactless and chip is $49. So here's order a mag stripe reader. You can click that. Mag stripe reader with the headset jack. So the default mag stripe reader is for the previous phones. Uh, it comes with a headset jack. You have a newer iPhone and you need the lightning connector. For $10, they're going to arrive in a few days. These are only needed if you're going to take point of sale charges. So if you're going to swipe a card or take a payment in person, personally, I'm not going to need these because I book everything online. Uh, even if someone wants to pay me, they can still run through my book online, book an appointment, pay for it online, and then we can do the appointment in person. So there's just a number of ways you can do that where you don't have to have these. You can also download the app from Square and take a picture of the card if you do it every now and then. Uh, but if you want to, for $10, the MagStripe reader, or for $50, get the tap reader, you can have those available with you. But it's just something else you have to remember to bring along with you. All right, so in summary, I'm just going to go back to my business and account settings. Again, this is where you would set up a point of sale passcode. So again, if you order a point of sale system and you need a four digit passcode to access it, you'll need to set that here. Activating two-step verification is an extra layer of security. Uh, this is where you set up your bank accounts, uh, your email notifications, authorized representative security processing. Under the business is where you set up location. Under my business, pricing and subscriptions. This would be how you pay Square. So this is how you're gonna pay them. I'm gonna click up here and go back to appointments now. And I'm gonna go online booking. Back to my booking site, I'm going to view the site. So this by no means does it replace a website, but you've got square.site with this link you're going to be able to give to people where they can come here and you have your description, um, you have your information, our services that are available. I've got a picture of myself with my background and you, you can click book with Bob. You can book now on any one of these services or you can click here to book an appointment. So now they can choose which session they would like. Let's say they want a single session. Looks like a couple things aren't loading just yet. So let me go back and verify that and we'll go add it to our website. 
All right, so we're back at the overview. I've set up the payment system linking to my bank account. Uh, that's still taking some time to verify. I want to make sure that I'm accepting payments at the time of booking. So I'm going to go back here under uh, services. I did not see a one extra time or a block extra time. So I'm, while I'm here, I'm going to change these to give me 15 minutes ahead of time. Save. In case my appointment runs long, I've got a little extra time. All right, we're back at the overview page, and I want to verify that I take appointments at the booking time. In my particular practice, when you book an appointment, you make the payment. I'm not waiting to take payments at time of service. If there's cancellations or reschedules. I know the payment's been made. So I'm going to go into settings, payments and cancellations. Let's look at this here. So booking with no show. So again, here's this required. It says activate card processing to enable this. So I'm going to click this to activate card processing. So here is actually the square setup that I was looking for. Apparently you can use the appointment booking system at no charge if you're taking appointment in person or cash, but the moment you wanna charge, it makes sense, you're gonna get a square account. And I highly recommend it because uh, it's one of the least expensive ways to take cards. I'm gonna fill this out next. So the payment processing has been set up. So now I wanna come back to overview for my appointment. Uh, you go to settings and payments and cancellations, then go down to require payments. So here, merchant requires clients to fully prepay a fixed price, uh, 5,000 maximum, and then you can put your cancellation privacy here. Now, if you want a booking with no-show protection, you can go in here and charge a flat fee for a no-show. So you've got the booking option without any no-show. You're just gonna let people book, and if they no-show or move around their their appointment, there's no protection for you here. If you want a cancellation fee, you're gonna put that in here, or if you're just gonna require a payment, which I do, I'm gonna put that right there. So I'm gonna require a payment up front. So, so now we've got that all set. Next, I'm gonna go look at my calendar, and here you see uh, my calendar has synced up. So let me go to next week. It might be a little bit easier to see. I have appointments next week in the middle of the week, so it's not gonna, like I have a haircut next Wednesday, we have dinner with mom and dad. So this is gonna, Square knows this information and they're not gonna book an appointment on top of that. So if I go to my online booking, to my booking site, and now again, I visit the site. So here's my regular hours, open today until 12. If I click book an appointment, and I'm gonna book now, I'm gonna select. So here I'm gonna find availability. So um, so they want to go on Tuesday. These are the slots that I have available. Evenings all booked, afternoon. Here's the next day. So these are the available slots that we have available. So perfect, perfect. So now I'm going to go back to there. Now we're going to create a booking button. So what we're going to do now, for those of you who have a website, whether you have a, uh, a Wix site, a WordPress site, a website builder, whatever site, you have the ability to add what's called HTML code. So you can drag and drop or put in an HTML or a code widget. You need to embed code. It's, there's a number of terms. So you're looking for HTML widget, embed code. Some of the builders might even have a Square appointment app where you can just put in your information. Not likely, but it could be out there. So what we're gonna do is go to our booking site and we're gonna click create a booking button. We're gonna create now. So here, if you wanna change the text, but I like it, it says book an appointment. If you wanna change the color, you can do that, that's great. I'm gonna go with uh, that color, actually I'm gonna go a little more red, you know, I'm gonna choose that one right there. And so what I'm gonna do is copy this information right here, and we're gonna copy it. You can email the instructions to your web developer and copy that. I'm gonna go over to my website, so we'll scroll down so what's going to be different here is now I have schedule a session and it's got these three boxes to choose from. I'm going to replace that with a button. I'll be back soon. Okay, we're at my website. Again, this is a WordPress website. I'm using Elementor as my editor. Um, and currently the website, I have a plugin called WP Amelia, which is a great plugin. If you'd like to manage all of your own calendar and scheduling uh, from the dashboard uh, of WordPress, you can do that with Amelia. It connects to both Stripe and PayPal. Uh, you can have multiple uh, 
packages, multiple categories, multiple people, teams. It's just a very extensive. I have other videos and training on WP Amelia and it's $60 a year. Basically breaks down to like $5 a month. So uh, it's a nice, nice package. Now, if you're less technical and you don't want to deal with all that, you need more point of sale, you need, you're a single practitioner with just a few sessions, that's where I'm setting up Square today. It's going to be a lot easier for people with single uh, practitioners to use Square. So the first thing we're going to do when I look at my website is I'm, there's I'll come back to this area next where you actually have the information. What I want to do is I'm going to replace these social media buttons up here at the top with a button. So I'm going to go into Edit Elementor and I'm going to edit the header. Okay, so we have the header done now. Uh, the book appointment button is here. When you click on that, it takes you over to your Square site booking uh, page. So that's going to work out great. Um, it's now a sticky, so as people scroll down, there's always that information there. I'm going to work on changing it to be only a booking plugin uh, link, uh, but uh, th th we've got this done for now. I want to take uh, some of the space out of the top and the bottom, so we'll tighten up that header, but now we have a header. Now, in Elementor, I did struggle with the code they gave me, so I went back and I just copied this link. So if you use this booking button information and the code's not working out, it's not laying out for you right, I was having problems with it smashing over here in the corner, I just drug in a button in the Elementor button and I put the code right in here and told it to open in a new window. So I did the same thing myself without using their button code. But uh, that, that's the other option to just copy the link and create your own button in your own theme or you can create a booking button by following their system here. So, right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna to go to website embed. This is very interesting. So this is how you actually add the square appointments to your website. So uh, you can preview as a sidebar, you can preview as a half a page, you can preview as main content. So this is the different options you have. So if I click here and preview as my main content, this is actually going to be my main content, which is, what I would love to see. But then, if you want to preview it as a half a page or you want to preview it as a sidebar, you've got different code here that you can add. So down here below, um, so this code that they give you again is something that's just going to automatically fit into the space you give it. So on your website, if you have, you, if you paste it into a sidebar, it's going to automatically format for that. If you have a half page available or if you have it as your main content. So again, I'm just going to copy this code and I'm going to go back over to Elementor and I'm just going to click edit with Elementor because I want to edit my page. I'm going to scroll down um, and here I have schedule a session and you see the short code in here. That's what completes my Amelia catalog. So over here I'm going to, in Elementor, I'm going to type in code and again I'm going to drag in the HTML and I'm going to drop it right above there and then I'm going to paste in the code that came over from Square. So now it's populated that information, which looks good. I'm going to click update. It's like it's overtaken my whole page here. So let's give this a moment. All right, so we're looking at the page. So again, I have the sticky header. So as you scroll, uh, this information at the top and the book appointment is going to stay there. There's my video. Do you suffer from? Here's all the information. So now when it says schedule a session, you've got everything right here, right now. And, and it, it's, it's an iframe because of the space I have available here. So I can fix that here in just a moment. And then below it, I have this information as well. So I'm going to go fix that so you don't have the scrolly session in here as well. So I'll click Edit with Elementor again. So I have uh, an incognito window open um, because I'm doing a lot of editing. Things can be cached and they don't always catch up. So now I've got my book appointment button here in the header. It's a sticky header. Uh, as you scroll down, and now you have schedule a session. Uh, information here uh, you can choose they can choose whichever one a single session um, I'm still waiting for this image to catch up I'm not sure what this image is about um, but if we go ahead and select then it's just gonna find a date and they're gonna be able to pick the time of day so we've got that all set so that's perfect so we're gonna be able to use this throughout the site uh, as well as um, direct linking through Facebook and other things like that Instagram so if you have any other questions, reach out to me for adding a appointment booking, or you can reach out to Square Support and they can definitely help you with it as well. 
so we have completed the integration on the website. We have book appointment here at the top. As we scroll down, we have the schedule of session. One other thing I wanted to point out, I learned as I went, it's like, you know, this is saying select a service, select location, select date and time. So here, if I click book now, it says we'll come to you. So I'm going to go back over to the settings and under under overview. This is in Square Appointments, uh, and I'm going to go under settings, calendar, and booking. This is before where I said both at my business and the customer's location. So I'm going to put in here phone only and I'm going to save that. So what that does is it will eliminate the option for them to come to you. So if, they, if the people want to come to you or if you have the type that's going to uh, come to them. So if they're only coming to your business, you would choose that. If you're only going to the customer's location, you would choose that. If you're going to do both or if you're going to do phone only, which would be for me, I'm doing it via computer. Um, so I'm going to do that. I don't know if it will refresh this fast. Let me go. I also added it to my contact page. So when you go over to contact, are you looking for a motion code practitioner? It'll say, or book an appointment. And now let's go with a single session and see now it went immediately to my calendar. So there wasn't an option to choose home. There wasn't anything missing on that. So I like that much better. So we'll be able to find a time. Uh, if you click book appointment here, it's going to take you out to the site in a similar session uh, or similar fashion, it's not going to ask you those extra questions. So if you just click book appointment, it's probably going to take me to the same place. I have to pick which one and then it shows the calendar. So I like that. That works out very well. So for a single practitioner, this is a very good solution. All right. So now that we have uh, things set up in your website. Um, another thing to definitely look at is booking channels. So if you want to reserve with Google's, let customers find and book you through Google search maps. So I mean, here's a way to activate how you can um, set this up. Now it says you must accept appointments at your premises. So Google Business, Google Plus, uh, actually is for local businesses. So that that's not going to work for me. Now Instagram, I can learn more here. We can actually go out how to add a book button. So here's where you can copy this URL and you can take it over here and make it your booking button on your Instagram account, which is beautiful. Uh, you can also use that, um, you know, with Facebook and other things. So here's a great way to add it to your other uh, channels. Also, you can create a campaign here. So in three easy steps, you can create a custom email campaign. So you could, uh, if you have a list of customers, uh, you can actually create an email campaign and send it out to them. So they've got some great tools here uh, for those items. If you want to change the order, uh, oftentimes I prefer people look at a six or a three session package before they do a single. Uh, it's hard to get uh, the energy healing and uh, things completed in one session. Uh, I, so I always suggest they go with the, that first so you can change the visibility and order. So there's some great things here with Square. If you have any other questions, reach out to me. I'd be happy to help uh, with your website or your Square setup. All right, in summary, I want to say I'm a big advocate of Square. Square combines your payment processing, you know, your credit card transactions. So whether you're a point of sale practitioner, you need a POS system where you actually need something on your counter, or you just take payments from your phone or your uh, tablet, you can do that. Myself, I'm an online energy healer, so my uh, sessions are remote via video conference or telephone. It's a beautiful appointment setting system that doesn't even require a Square app. You could literally set appointments and then click payments via cash or check at the time of the appointment. Now I would suggest uh, setting up the Square account uh, to get the credit card processing. Uh, they have rates better than PayPal, rates better than Stripe, and so you can put the whole thing together and you can charge uh, cancellation fees or partial fees up front. Um, and it's again free for a single practitioner. If you have more than one person on your team, maybe you each want to individually set up yours, but if you have a business with a number of employees, I would look into the team uh, settings, but the costs are very low for managing a team. So if you're a brand new practitioner, an existing practitioner, and you're ready to just take the headaches out of appointment scheduling, uh, the Square app is amazing. And then you integrate the Square payment processing with it. And now you accept your payments online uh, before the appointments and the appointment reminders are sent out via text, via email. You, it's, it's awesome. And then you can take the code and drop a button into your website, whichever website builder you use or website type. My preference is WordPress. 
I have a course, which I'll put in the description below, where I take practitioners step by step through creating a WordPress website because you're going to get the best SEO, you're going to get the best options, you're going to get the blogging platform, photo galleries. WordPress is the number one development platform, but it takes a little time to learn. Uh, but I've got a great course that I'll walk you through it step by step from getting a domain name uh, to setting up the best hosting and uh, building your WordPress site. And from there, whichever appointment booking system you use, you're going to be able to integrate it into WordPress. They all integrate with WordPress. So we'll talk about not only uh, Square appointments, but Acuity uh, and WP Amelia. There's different options and pros and cons to each one. So look for more information below. Contact me if you have any questions. And thank you for watching this video.